Hey, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. Hi, Ben. Pick a bourbon, any bourbon. Well, I, I've got one right here. All right, let's do it. It's, this is within arm's reach, so we'll just pick this one. Okay. We've got, bam, this is Old Forester Statesman. Um, I don't really know the, the full history behind this one. I'm an Old Forester fan. <laughs> and uh, this one, I guess, was from the movie uh, Kings, The Kingsman. Is it The Kingsman? Or I think it's just Kingsman, part two. Apparently there is a reference in, I haven't seen that, I've only seen the first one. Okay, I don't there, think I see it. I saw either. There's some sort of reference in the movie that they they made this bottle for the movie and then they actually decided to make it in real life or oh, something okay. like that. Sure. I don't know. We didn't really research this. We're not really getting into this one for yeah. the history yeah, right. of it, but... Um, the pop culture reference is not such a big deal. It's more about the bourbon inside the bottle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is, you know, the, I'm a big fan of Old Forester, as I said. Big fan of the Whiskey Row ones, yep. you know, the old fine in the 1920. 1910, 1920, 1897. Yep, was, and then what is it, 1890 is the other one. 18, whatever it is. But even just the, the 86 and the 100, I, I've liked every Old Forester product I've had. So I'm excited about this one. I have tasted this one before. Yep. Small pour, it was a little while ago, so this would be kind of a nice refresher. Right. Now, um, so I happened to be on a road trip a couple years ago, actually, and I saw this on the shelf for $60, did kind of a thick pour there. <laughs> it's okay. A, it's a Sunday, Yeah, you'll be all right. Um, and so I didn't know what it was, and so I actually took a chance on it. Um, it's really, really good. Um, 60 bucks for 95 proof. It's a little expensive. It is I think little. around here it's actually, it's maybe 55-ish. Okay. I mean, five bucks, but. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's quite 60, but I mean, after taxes it probably is. But yeah, 95 proof, and I don't know, aside from the you know pop culture reference that we're not fully clear on, I'm not sure what is different about this one as opposed, I don't know if that information is really out there. Right. I guess we didn't do, like I said, a ton of research into the, the history of all things Old Forester Statesman. We just wanted to drink the bourbon and see if it's yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So, it's definitely got the classic Old Forester nose. Um, really super sweet. Wow. I'm getting more kind of bright brown sugar notes. Yeah. Almost almost cane sugar, but it's still brown sugar. It's like dark notes that are brightened up. There's a little bit of maybe cherry behind it. Yeah. It's really super sweet, like candy sweet. All of a sudden it changed and I'm getting like a lot less. Weird. Maybe you just got COVID right now. Oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> just happened, like in, <laughs> right now. Your sense of smell just... <laughs> Honestly, I've not been around anybody in weeks. That's good. <laughs> All right, let's go right. in for the for the taste here. Yeah. Cheers. Toffee. Toffee, caramel, brown sugar. Yeah, it's really in that family of flavors. But then, so I talk about bourbon being kind of like either really well-balanced and having like little spikes of flavor. Mm -hmm. There is the traditional Banana, banana flavoring kind of note a little that bit. you get with Old Forester, yeah. Brown Foreman. Brown Foreman a lot of people products. get that yeah. from Brown Foreman in general, but particularly Old Forester is kind of known for that. Um, yeah, that's, but it's in that really caramely toffee, like you said, it's, it's in that family of sweetness, but there is, like I said, kind of a bit of a cherry maybe behind all that. A little bit. You know? There's just a candy sweetness that kind of like covers it all though. Mm-hmm. It's good, but it's noticeable. I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't remember that so candy sweet? Sweet, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've actually heard mixed reviews about this bottle. Okay. So I've seen some other reviews that are not quite as favorable on it. Sure. And then I've heard from other people, like some friends of mine, and seen some reviews that are just love it. And mm -hmm. I really like this. Okay. I think if you're a fan of Old Forester, you're gonna like it. So we know that Old Forester, in general, they tend to age their bourbons slightly longer than normal. Mm -hmm. Like even their basic. M longer their, than an average yeah. basic offering. They don't sell it at four years, they tend to sell it at five years for their basic mm -hmm. 86 proof. Um, stuff like that. Yeah. 
This probably has some age on it. Yeah, I wonder if it's maybe like a blend or something like that. Yeah, definitely. You know. But it's really, yeah, it's, I'm trying to think of what separates this from other Old Forester stuff that I've had. Um, I do have a bottle of 100 proof. No, I don't. Killed that on Friday night. Oh, that's right. Mm. And our live stream with our Patreon friends. Yeah. Um, so, but it, yeah, it's, it's... You have that 86? No, I don't. Oh. The closest thing I have is early times bottled in Bond, being a brown foreman. Yeah. I've got the, the 1910, but that's a double oak, so that's, it's not really going to be yeah. a fair comparison. That's quite a bit different. But yeah, it, this is just, it's right in that family, but if you want to, it's, it's dark and sweet, but it's bright at the same time. I don't know how to describe this one. It's a little, hmm. it's different, but it's good. It's really good. It is really good, but I, I tend to not get the dark notes as much, more the sweet notes. Mm-hmm. And there's some oak spice in there too. There is. Like that wood sugar yep. kind of taste that we talk about. Yeah, I would, if you're, if you're an old Forester fan, I would definitely recommend it, for sure. Um, I want to do a lineup of all, like the Whiskey Row ones. Whiskey Row. And just kind of see, you know, the, the 1920 is a higher proof. Mm -hmm. 1910 is a double oak. And there's Bottled and Bottled and just kind of the regular. Yeah. But I would like to see some of those just versus the regular 100 proof mm -hmm. because of the price difference. Yeah. You know, that is one thing that kind of, you know, if there is something to be said about this bottle, it's it's a little on the more expensive side. It's priced like in their upper tier of bourbons, mm -hmm. and is that justified? And we, we probably need to compare it in order to, yeah. you know, to say. Now, that being said, I think it drinks like a, a really high quality bourbon. Oh, definitely. But I'm wondering how it compares. Is it that much of a jump up from the, the Old Forester 100 that is Good excellent yeah. and it's like 28 bucks or right. 26 bucks? Yeah. So maybe we should, uh, you know, for science. I think I still have a bottle of 100. Yeah. I think I do. We should uh, line that up for an upcoming review and then we can maybe do like a little uh, Old Forester theme for one of them and just really kind of compare and see. Sure. Because I've always wanted to compare the regular 100 to the bottled and bond because the bottled and bond is like double the price. Yeah. You know? Yep. But same proof, you're getting more than four years on the 100. But you're getting the, the inspection and the federally yeah, guarded you're getting, yeah. Rickhouse. You get a little more government in your bourbon when you pay extra, for, which makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you exactly. You pay the extra price and you get a little more government in your bottle. So yeah. anyway, that's for a future review. But this is really good. I would, like I said, I'd recommend it if you're a fan of Old Forester. Totally agree. This is a good one. It's, it's just slightly different enough that it kind of makes it a little unique and on its, it's own. It's gotten a little bit marshmallow on me though. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna enjoy, enjoy the rest of this pour for sure. I'm not sure if you can hear the vacuum upstairs, but you have a robot vacuum. Man. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, and it's really popping off upstairs right now. I don't know what's going on. It's really deep cleaning, so hopefully <laughs> that's not showing up on the video. But yeah, hopefully. Anyway, this has been Old Forester Statesman on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Comma. Cheers. <laughs>